seem right because God looks like God put me in a predicament where I could not get out of myself. But I have to remind myself that my glory is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you. Look at your neighbor and shout, neighbor, my glory is coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't understand it all now, but my glory is coming. I, 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 don't, I don't know why he took me through all of this, but my glory is coming. I don't know why I had to go through hardship. Look like I've been to hell and back, but I have a word for you today that if you endure the suffering, God shall give you the glory. And I gotta get out of here now. But before I go, I came to let you know that you shall see glory after this. What is this? This is a thing that God has promised. What is this? This is all the hell that I've been through. What is this? This is a tears from the nights I cried myself to sleep. What is this? This is the nights I had pain in my body. What is this? This was the time when I suffered through a divorce. When it looked like I lost all. When it looked like the judge was going to send me to jail. What is this? When my car got repossessed. What is this? When I flipped over. Oh Lord. It's everything I had to suffer. songwriters say that I've learned how to suffer for when I suffer I gain eternal life good evening United Faith Church I gotta leave you now my time is up time of departure is at hand but before I go I came to let you know God going to give you the glory And when you go through He's going to give you a story About your glory And people not Going to be able To understand Your story And see you And see your glory They will see your glory And can't relate to your story Because you don't look like what you've been through, but I, I, I come here today, oh Lord, to let you know that your glory is coming. Say yeah, say yeah, and I know that you might not understand what I'm talking about, but I. Reminded of a story. Oh, come here, movie theaters. I went to the movies the other night. I wanted to see my soul and ride. I went to AMC and Kano. I watched a movie about a man by the name of George Foreman. George Foreman. And he was a boxer. He was winning every fight. But he met a man by the name of Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali knocked him out. He lost his belt. He lost his marriage. He lost his money. I ain't got time to tell you. But everything.
it's gonna get good after a while. And so he bought a church and he bought a gym. Everything started getting foreclosed. He went to the bank and checked on his money. He had millions of dollars in the bank. But when he got there, the banker told him there was only two thousand left in the account because the man he trusted with his money all stole every dime he had what you telling me about George Floyd the old Gordon Foreman I came here to let you know that even celebrities go through hell he lost his family he lost his wife she took the children he lost his place, he lost his fight, he almost lost his mind. But a few days later, after he had suffered a little while, after he had been through hell and trouble and hot water, after he had cried, after his sister almost had a miscarriage, after his mama started to look back, the man will say he found his trainer. Oh Lord, he told his trainer almost 20 years later, after Muhammad Ali had beat him up, he said, I want to fight again. He said, I want to fight again. And he went. But while he was fighting, he had to work out, he had to lose weight, he had to run up a mountain, he had to carry a cow, he had to pull a goat, he had to pull a jeep. And why are you telling me this? Because I'm trying to get you to understand what it means to suffer. If you want no pain, you will have no gain.
don't worry about how it's gonna happen. Just start fighting. Don't worry. How you gonna win the fight? Just start fighting. Oh, Mariah, he got in the ring and he started swinging. Welcome. 